Question 1. What are the primary components of a CPQ application, and how do they interact in Salesforce? In Salesforce CPQ, the primary components include the product catalog, pricing engine, and quoting mechanism. The product catalog houses all the products and their variants. The pricing engine is responsible for calculating prices based on various factors like volume, discounts, and customizations. Lastly, the quoting mechanism generates the final quote document based on the configured products and calculated products and calculated prices. These components work in unison to streamline the sales process by ensuring accurate pricing and efficient quote generation. Question 2. How does Salesforce CPQ handle complex pricing structures? Salesforce CPQ is designed to handle complex pricing structures through its advanced pricing features. It allows for multiple pricing strategies such as volume discounts, tiered pricing, and promotional discounts. CPQ also supports custom pricing rules that can be configured to accommodate unique business requirements. These rules can take into account factors like customer type, order quantity, and product combinations to automatically apply the correct pricing strategy. Question 3. Can you explain the role of product bundles in Salesforce CPQ? Product bundles in Salesforce CPQ are a way to group related products or services together for selling purposes. They simplify the sales process by allowing sales reps to configure and price a set of products collectively rather than individually. Bundles can include mandatory items, optional items, and items with predefined quantities. This feature is particularly useful for offering package deals or solutions that require multiple complementary products. Question 4. Describe a scenario where guided selling is beneficial in Salesforce CPQ. Guided selling in Salesforce CPQ is beneficial in scenarios where sales reps need assistance in selecting the right products for a customer's specific needs. For example, in a telecommunications company, a sales rep can use guided selling to recommend the best combination of phone plans, devices, and accessories based on the customer's usage patterns, budget, and preferences. This feature helps in simplifying the product selection process, ensuring customer needs are accurately met, and increasing sales efficiency. Question 5. How does Salesforce CPQ support sales quoting for multinational companies? Salesforce CPQ supports multinational companies by handling multiple currencies and localization requirements. It allows sales quotes to be generated in different currencies, taking into account currency conversion rates and local tax regulations. This capability ensures that multinational companies can accurately and efficiently create quotes for customers in different countries, maintaining consistency and compliance with local business practices. Question 6. In Salesforce CPQ, how do you configure a product to have different pricing options based on specific customer attributes? Salesforce CPQ allows the configuration of products with varying pricing options based on customer attributes through price rules and price dimensions. These rules can apply specific pricing logic considering conditions like customer type or contract size, adjusting pricing based on customer attributes. Custom fields and lookup tables can also be utilized to refine the pricing strategy. Question 7. How would you utilize Apex in customizing the functionality of Salesforce CPQ? Apex can be employed in Salesforce CPQ to create complex business logic exceeding standard configurations. This includes writing Apex triggers or classes for automating processes, such as custom validations during quote creation or manipulating quote line items. 
The key is ensuring that the Apex code aligns with Salesforce best practices and does not interfere with CPQ's inherent functions. Question 8. Describe the process of setting up a dynamic bundle in Salesforce CPQ and how it differs from a static bundle. Setting up a dynamic bundle in Salesforce CPQ involves creating a product bundle with components selected dynamically based on rules or user input, unlike static bundles with fixed components. This setup requires defining option constraints and selection rules, which guide component inclusion based on criteria or user choices, offering flexibility for customizable products or services. Question 9. Can you explain how Salesforce CPQ handles multi-tiered discounting and what needs to be considered when configuring it? Multi-tiered discounting in Salesforce CPQ is managed through discount schedules, which allow applying different discount levels based on quantities or tiers. Configuring this requires accurate definition of discount tires and setting up corresponding discount percentages ensuring alignment with the business's pricing strategy and clear communication of the discount tiers. Question 10. How do you integrate Salesforce CPQ with external ERP systems? And what are the common challenges faced during such integrations? Integrating Salesforce CPQ with external ERP systems generally involves using middleware tools or API integrations. This process includes mapping data fields between CPQU and the ERP system for seamless data flow. Challenges often include data synchronization, managing different data formats, and ensuring real-time data accuracy. A robust error handling and data validation mechanism is essential to mitigate these challenges Question 11. A client requires a custom discount structure where the discount percentage increases with the quantity ordered. How would you configure this in Salesforce CPQ? In Salesforce CPQ, this can be achieved by setting up a tiered discount schedule. First, I would create a discount schedule with different tiers reflecting the quantity thresholds. Each tier would have a corresponding increased discount percentage. This discount schedule would then be linked to the relevant products or product families, ensuring that the discount automatically applies as the quantity in the quote increases. Question 12. You are configuring a product bundle that includes a primary product and several optional accessories. How do you ensure that the primary product is always included in the quote. To ensure the primary product is always included, I would set it as a required component of the bundle in Salesforce CPQ. This can be done by marking the primary product as required within the bundle configuration. This setting prevents the sales representative from removing the primary product from the bundle during the quote creation process. Question 13. A customer needs a quote for a product, but they require a custom feature that alters the standard pricing. How would you accommodate this in a CPQ? Quote. For such a scenario, I would use the product options and price rules features in Salesforce CPQ. First, I would add the custom feature as a product option associated with the main product. Then, I would create a price rule that adjusts the product's price when this specific feature is selected. This ensures that the quote reflects the additional cost of the custom feature. Question 14. Your company releases a new product line and wants to offer an introductory discount for the first three months. How would you set this up in Salesforce CPQ? To implement an introductory discount, I would create a promotional discount schedule in Salesforce CPQ applicable to the new product line. This discount schedule would have a validity period set for the first three months. I would ensure the discount applies automatically to the new product line during this period, 
after which it would revert to the standard pricing. Question 15. A multinational company requires quotes in multiple currencies based on the customer's location. How do you configure Salesforce CPQ to handle this? Salesforce CPQ can handle multi-currency quoting by setting up currency conversion rates and assigning the appropriate currency to each customer's account based on their location. I would configure the CPQ system to use the account's default currency when generating a quote. The system would then automatically apply the current conversion rates and localize the pricing as per the customer's currency preferency preferences. This ensures accuracy and compliance with regional pricing standards. 